Howdy folks, Mike Dackle here. Today I'm going to be showing you how quick and easy you can make a song using Ignite. Now this is uh, in reply to uh, some questions I had on, uh, I don't know, another video about, uh, you know, how can you record a song and it sound great with uh, little money and uh, expertise. So this is one way. I have a M Audio Keystation Mini 32 MIDI USB keyboard controller with uh, little bells and whistles, octave uh, buttons, pitch bending, modulation, and a volume sustain thing. You know, it's a nice little keyboard, thin, compact, easily transportable. With this keyboard comes Ignite by Air. There's a similar uh, app for this on the iPad uh, that does a similar kind of thing, but uh, this one's for your PC and comes with this keyboard. So, what do we do? We have a list of VST instruments here. Drums, basses, keys, synths, guitars, strings, brass, woodwinds, percussion, voices, um, audio, that would be your loops and um, samples and stuff like that. Back to drums. So let's see how quickly we can make a song. Let's get some drums up. Let's select a rock kit and add it in. So, uh, right, BPM will stick with uh, 120. Pretty standard. Okay, so as soon as I hit record, it counts me in there and says play to start recording. So that's what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you notice how I was playing, you know, at different velocity as it's called in MIDI. I mean, you know, I was pressing some keys harder and so it was going a bit softer and I was a bit out of time. This program quantizes what you play. Which means it puts it all in time for you. And that will loop forever. So we've got a nice basic um, drum track there. Let's go back up the instruments and select some keys. Grand piano. We've already got a grand piano here, haven't we? So let's do this as a, as a basic 12 bar, shall we? So we'll stop that. So we'll do it in the key of C. So we'll have a C. C and F and a G. Okay. I was doing that for myself, not for you. So I know what I'm going to play. So let's add a piano part. Two, three, four. Okay, now I went over the 12 bars there into the 13th, easy, double click it, this is the whole track there, hmm, I didn't want to go 13 tracks, let's drag that back, 
to there. There we go, now we're only playing uh, 12 bars of it. And if you hit a wrong note, if you can see here, let's zoom in. Now I was only supposed to play two notes throughout that, and uh, you'll see here, there's three notes. Mm. Double click it, it disappears. Now, at the end, now I thought I played the wrong uh, the wrong chord, but I didn't. So we now have. Piano part. I know this isn't perfect, and <laughs> if you if you if you didn't like what was being played, you can go and you can move the notes slightly. You know, fix the timing issues if you if if you're doing a full and proper song for yourself. But I'm not. I'm trying to fit this in under uh, under ten minutes if I can. So let's uh, let's add a bass. That's too high, drop down an octave. That's a bit too low, let's stick with. So let's add a bass. So three, four. I played the wrong thing there, let's do that again. And let's keep it simple. That was a too complicated a bass line for me. Two, three, four. So again, we went over the uh, 12 bars. So we'll just uh, zoom out there and cut it back. 12 bars. Pick the next instrument. Let's go for some uh, some brass. Yep, that'll do. I admit it's not the most um, convincing brass sound in the world, but um, it is what it is. It's a free piece of uh, free piece of software with a with a cheap keyboard, mini controller. So um, you're not going to get thousands of pounds worth of sound in VST instruments you are going to get easy to use stuff and uh, it's going to sound passable you know the piano and the bass and the drums here do not sound terrible so let's um, add some brass There we 
we go. What should we add next? Maybe a guitar? Before I press record, forget and go over into the uh, next section <laughs> that really doesn't sound like an electric guitar does it but it's, it's an interesting sound anyway built-in mixer drums aren't loud enough bass needs boosting uh, pan that piano to the left and the uh, guitar to the right now this track will continue for eternity on an infinite loop like this Yeah, that's going to continue on a loop, but you want to make it into a, a, a full backing track. You can drag this set of drums so it now goes the full 12 bars of the, of, of the other instruments. So, say you wanted to uh, have a song that changed, you know. This is a 12 bar song, say you're writing a normal song, what, what do you do then? You know, you've got a, a verse, verse 1, verse 2, chorus, verse 3, bridge, chorus, solo, outro. Just drag them. There you go, the drums are now that long. Go... And then, uh, you know, add, add your next piano section after that. Easy as that. So that's a, a five track song there. Which uh, isn't well played and isn't well put together and timed and whatnot, but... Uh, you saw, you saw me do it in real time. It's as simple as pressing a few buttons. If you struggle with technology and uh, you know are looking for a really simple way to be able to record backing tracks for your songs so that you could then play your own songs with a full band without you know anybody there then you can do it with this obviously I'm not affiliated with this uh, with these people in any way and I'm not trying to sell it to you it's just one of many options uh, I just thought this one I would share with you and uh, hopefully it'll be useful to somebody and I think oh great I can finally have that whole brass section going in my song and you know I don't have to pay twenty thousand dollars for the Memphis horns to play on my track so hope this helps anybody it's gone on eh, 15 minutes not bad for me hope that's helped somebody and uh, see you next time goodbye <laughs>